All warfare is based on deception. This is a deliberate act of war against the United States. Our enemies believe that they alone dictate the course of history. That all it takes is the will of a single man. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 released all the way back in 2011. I want to say it was one of the first Call of Duty games I ever bought for myself that wasn't gifted to me or given to me. But Modern Warfare 3 was an awesome game and I decided to come back to it here in 2023 to see how it's doing here on the PlayStation 3 in the current day. I checked it out to see if it was hacked to all hell if there was enough players to actually play in general, and just overall if the game was playable entirely. So, first things first, let's hop into actually the Spec Ops mode, because that was the kind of the first thing I checked, because it's right there at the main menu, you know. Multiplayer is kind of a whole different loading screen. But, what I can tell you is, if you have a new account or not, it doesn't matter for MW3 here, you can play Spec Ops. You can play the Spec Ops missions co-op. There's pretty much always at least someone you're gonna be able to find any day, any time, pretty much. So that's cool, you can check out the co-op Spec Ops missions. But what I'm glad to see is that survival is also there. So you can actually join up into survival, search for survival co-op match, it's two player. So you just have to find one other person to play. And every time I've tried to search late at night, early in the morning, middle of the day, I was able to find lobby of survival. So that's pretty cool. And the nice thing about this whole Spec Ops and Survival is you can save your game data to your hard drive of your PS3. So that's why it works with the new account, new PS3 account and stuff like that. Now, heading over to multiplayer, it's actually a different story. When you're in multiplayer, if you have a PS3 account that was made more recently and not actually back in the day during the PS3 days, or if you have a PS3 account from back in the day but changed your username within the past few years, such as I. I have, then you will not be able to find any matches of MW3. It'll tell you that your connection to Activision servers have been interrupted. This is because the game is not making any new registries for new usernames and is not detecting your name change so it doesn't think you exist pretty much. So unfortunately the only way to play MW3 on PS3, at least multiplayer, is you have to have an original PS3 account. So thankfully I have friends of course who I've played on PS3 with back in the day to this day and I still play games with but they granted me their account because they never changed their username and I was able to check out MW3 on their account. Now, upon going into MW3 multiplayer and starting searching for matches, in general, on the heat map, it shows that most of the players online are in the Europe area. Just keep in mind, every region could be different, but there was about roughly always 100 people or less later on in the night in Team Deathmatch, sometimes up to 200 or 300 during the day. And there was actually plenty of people playing Domination and plenty of people playing Free For All as well to find matches for those. But however, let me pause right there because as I mentioned, the heat map showed there was a bunch of people playing in Europe. And I don't know if all these people are playing in Europe and if you Europeans might be able to find matches of MW3. However, playing in the US West coast region searching for a match of team deathmatch e even just team deathmatch you will never find a match any time of day any day of the week i could not find a single match of modern warfare 3 multiplayer now some sort of influencer or group got together and got everyone together who had an original ps3 account to play at the same time and coordinated something like that i'm sure you'd be able to find lobbies that way but mw3 multiplayer is officially dead on the ps3 and it's probably Probably due to the fact that new accounts and people who change their username can't even search for matches, which is just extremely unfortunate. Because MW3, while it's not the best Call of Duty out there, it is still a really good one, and it makes me sad that I can't even play the multiplayer on the PS3. So the multiplayer gameplay you will get to see in this video in the background is on PC on Plutonium as a heads up, which you can get for free though if you have PC. But on the PS3 side of things, it's really unfortunate, so MW3 is totally dead in 2023. You're not going to be able to play multiplayer at all, unless, like I mentioned, if you're in the European region, maybe, perhaps, you could find lobbies there. Maybe that's where all the players are, I'm not too sure. But if you do enjoy the Spec Ops and the survival mode of MW3, that's still alive and well, 
and playable and you can pretty much play it anytime you want so that's still an option for you out there. But yeah guys it was really disappointing to see MW3 multiplayer being dead on the PS3 here but nonetheless thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video helps you guys and lets you guys know what's going on with MW3 and if you guys want to see me return to and check out other games here on the PS3 and see if they're playable here in 2023 be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.